must be pretty important. Very important. It's a birthday card to a friend of mine. Oh, I hope I'm mailing it in time. When's the birthday? Next week. Oh, it'll get there in plenty of time. Another letter! Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm afraid I've come down with a case of bumbly, wheezy, sneezy fever. <laughs> Oh, dear. That's too bad. Well, I think you'd better go home until you feel better. I think that's a very good idea. Yeah, 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 but... Thank you. <laughs> huh, quick, turn him around. Bless you. Thank you. Oh, now how am I going to get the mail delivered today? Is there a problem, Postmaster? Well, the problem is, all my delivery bees are on vacation, which wouldn't be a problem, because they still have one left. Well, the problem is... <laughs> he's it. Oh. So, now the only one left to get the mail delivered is me. Oh, dear. But well, even that wouldn't be a problem. I can deliver the mail to Barry Betty City myself, but... But not this. What's that? Special delivery for Clement Cricket. Clear out in Acorn Acres. <laughs> Label says it's for his birthday. When's his birthday? Today. Today? Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> Here, J.D. Bug, let me help you. No, no. You should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I guess you're right. <sighs> Poor Clem. Looks like his birthday present will be late. But we can only do our very best. Wait! What if I helped you deliver this package, I mean? Well, that's mighty kind of you, Miss Shortcake, but all the way to Acorn Acres, this is not exactly a hop, skip, and a jump, you know. Yeah, it's across the bridge, way on the other side of the river. I have a scooter. I'm sure I can get it there in time. And I have the day off from the cafe, so I am at your service. <laughs> well, now, that's about the nicest thing I've heard in quite a while. Are you sure you want to give it a try? Very sure. All righty, then. <clears throat> Raise your right hand, please. Repeat after me. I, strawberry shortcake. I, strawberry shortcake. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. <sighs> You are now an official delivery person of the Barry Bitty City Post Office. <laughs> Strawberry! That looks great on you! Thanks, Orange! Thank you, Strawberry. This means a lot to me in the post office, and I expect to Mr. Cricket. <laughs> J.D. Bug will stamp the package and get you on your way. Okay, Jeedy Bug. No! Here, let me... <laughs> no, no, you should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I, I guess you're right. Here, I can help. Why, why, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Anybody home? Right there, Plum! Well, if you can stamp this package, I'll be on my way. Oh! <laughs> right.
right. Stamps. 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 Go! Oh! <laughs> that was me. Stamps. 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 Aha! There! Do not open till Christmas? Oh, absolutely. It'd be cheating. Huh? But it's his birthday. Oops. Fragile? This end up. <laughs> Return to sender? Oh, special delivery. Wait, how about a nice, don't drop this package? Oh, oh, here's a, sorry, doesn't live here anymore. Huh. I've been looking for that one for months. No, thank you. Well, congratulations to our new postal carrier. Orange told me all about it. Hi, Plum. Love the hat. Do you get to keep it? No, just helping out for the day. Hiya, Pupcake. Take good care of this package, okay? It's gotta go all the way to Acorn Acres. Acorn Acres? Way out there? Oh, can you make it in one day? Oh, it's still morning. Plenty of time. Uh, wait! Uh, who's taking care of your cafe? Mr. Lockface. He's teaching a cake decorating class. Psst, strawberry. Lemon? What is it? I've got a problem. Pupcake, you better wait here. Take care of the package, okay? <laughs> Lemon, are you okay? Uh, uh, sure, sure. What is it? Something's wrong, isn't it? Here, there's a great article on two-tone toenail polish. I would like to see how my hair looks. Oh, hold on. I used a new hair mousse, and it's not exactly working out. I'm scared she's gonna... Oh, I don't want to think what she'll do when she sees. It's too terrible to... Let me see. Okay, but please keep your cool. As always. Yeah. Okay, come on. Oh, it's coming along nicely. Wow, that's a, a hairstyle, all right. Now can I? Not yet. Lemon, I've got to deliver a package for the postmaster. I'd love to stay, but... Oh, no, 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 no. You can't leave me. Strawberry, please think of something. I don't know what to do. I'd like to keep blueberries, my friend, but when she finds out, she's gonna... Oh! And then she'll... No! Oh! Ouch! Okay, where's the bottle? Hmm. You know, I had a cake recipe that kept coming out just like that. Too hard? So I added pudding to the mix. Pudding? Try washing her hair with some vanilla pudding, then rinse it, then add stay in conditioner with a little, um, avocado oil. That should smooth it all down. Hmm, you think? Worth a try. And don't worry, blueberry always comes around. <sighs> Thanks, Strawberry. You calmed me down. I was just so flustered, I couldn't think. <laughs> You're very welcome. Berry Bitty City Post Office. We do the very best we can. JD Bug speaking. Oh, no. Uh, yes, sir. I'll tell her right away. Has Strawberry gone yet? Yeah. Uh, why? The postmaster just heard of the storm we had the other night. It blocked the road to Acorn Acres. She won't be able to get through. <gasps> oh, no! Strawberry? Strawberry, come back!
But even if we could clear the road, it'd take us too long. <laughs> oh, I think the only thing to do is keep going without the scooter. To Rosevale, Druckville, um, and that must be the way to Acorn Acres. Great. <sighs> now, which way should I go? Uh, I keep telling them they should fix this huh? thing, but do they listen? Because you didn't ask nice. What do you know about nice? Uh, nice is my middle name. Uh, no, it um, isn't. Excuse uh -huh. me. Yes. Um, is not. Okay, what is my middle name then? Ladybird. <laughs> Your name's Sadie Bug, Ladybird, Fairy Beetle. <gasps> How did you know that? Um, girls? Because maybe I've known you all your life and I'm your twin sister. My luck. If someone had asked me, I would have picked a different twin sister. Me too. Or, or, or I'd pick triplets. But none of them would have been you. <gasps> uh, hello? <laughs> well, don't just stand there. We need your help. You certainly aren't talking to me. Are you? We most very certainly are. Certainly for certain. Oh, well, what can I help you with? Can't you see? Sorry, but, um, you're gonna have to tell me. Let's make her guess. Silly, stop fooling around. This is serious. Well, I have a serious, uh, thing too. And, oh, can you tell me how to get to Acorn Acres? <gasps> Grew uh, away? And we're really hungry. <laughs> I'm hungrier. I said it first. <laughs> Doesn't mean you were hungrier first. Girls, please, please explain. How did your picnic grow away? Well, we were looking for a place to have our picnic, and I had some great ideas, but she wouldn't listen, because my ideas were best. And while you were uh, discussing, the flower grew up where you left your picnic things? And now our picnic is up there! And we're down here! And I'm hungry. I'm hungrier. I am. Come on! We better get your things before they grow away any further. No way! You're gonna help us? Of course! But we need to be quick. That is so nice of you! Almost there. Steady, steady. Now lower. Watch out, Pupcake. <sighs> there. Oh. Hey, that's mine. Nuh-uh. I made it. You made it for me? Okay, then what did you make for me? Don't spill that! <laughs> I can't open this. Give it to me, then. With your shaky hands? <laughs> I think not. <sighs> Come on, Pupcake. I guess the only thing we can do is try one of these roads. Where are you going? Yeah, don't you want to join us? It's a picnic for two, but you could share some of hers. Oh, thank you. But I have to deliver a package to Clem Cricket. If 
only I knew how to get there. Oh, right! It's his birthday! Yup. Too bad he didn't have a party. Maybe he didn't invite us. Why would someone not invite me? How did you know it was his birthday? He's a friend of ours. Yep, lives right up the road, right up there. This road? Uh, no, that one. Mm, that one. That way, to the river. Oh, yeah, you're right. I am? Yep, just follow it to the river, go across the bridge over the next hill, and you'll be right there. Oh, thank you. Anytime. Sure thing. Hear that, Popcake? It sounds like a river! Look, Pupcake! The bridge! Come on! On the other side is Acorn Acres! We're almost there! Oh, we're gonna make it in time! was out. Oh, Strawberry. Listen, I have to go tell the postmaster what happened. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help? I wish there was. I just... don't know what it would be. Hey, your hair looks really nice. Your idea really worked. Thank you. And the avocado oil? My hair's never been so shiny. I love it. <laughs> I'm glad. What a day! <laughs> but everything got delivered. I'm sorry to say, not everything. I'm very sorry. I tried. I got as far as the bridge, but it was out. Yeah, I'd heard about it after you'd gone. Too late to stop you, I'm afraid. It's quite a thing you did getting that far. But I didn't deliver the package. The mail didn't get through. Oh, and I promised it would. Actually, you promised to do the very best that you could. And you did that. You see, there are times when things happen that are out of our control. The only thing we can do is the best we can. I'll call the post office in Big Bitty City. See if we can bring in some help. Maybe take the back road through Oak Tree Meadows and get to Acorn Acres that way. Will they get here in time? Well, we can only do our very best. I just wish I could have delivered it. Maybe you still can, Strawberry. What's all this? I, um, sort of spread the word that you needed help. You always help us when we need it, so we decided to help you. Here in Berry Bitty City, we always try to help each other get the job done. We all put our heads together and came up with an idea to help you deliver the package. Oh, thank you, everyone. What idea? <laughs> Cupcake? <laughs> Cupcake, where are you? <clears throat> huh? <laughs> Do you need a bridge now? I think this is perfect. Thank you, everybody. Da <laughs> Miss Shortcake. Oh. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Hang on, Pupcake. <laughs> Oh, 
Kids! Special delivery for Clem Cricket! <laughs> That's me! This is for you. And happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> Thank you! Glitters. No. Glittery. Glittery? No, 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 no. Glittering. Glittering. Oh, that sounds best. What do you think, Pupcake? Rock custard? Oh, why, thank you. Hmm, now what rhymes with star? <gasps> I know, far! <clears throat> Up in the sky, so very far. <gasps> Look, what's that? A falling star. One wish to make, what will it be? A lot at stake, you must agree. Little white light, a glittering ball. With great delight, I watch it fall. Soon as it's gone, my wish comes then to see before dawn one fall again. Oh, huh? bravo! Delightful, Miss Shortcake. Simply delightful. Oh, Mr. Longface, I'm so glad you're here. It's only a week until the next story time corner, and you're the perfect person to help me with the poem I'll be reading for everyone. It's almost there, I think, but I would be grateful for some help with these two words. Oh, twould be an honor. <laughs> oh, thank you. Just those two words are all that I... Oops, excuse me. Strawberries Cafe, hope you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, that's great. I'll be right over, Raspberry. Um, do you mind watching the cafe, Mr. Longface? Just running over to Raspberry's Boutique. Be right back. Why, certainly. Uh, take your time. Hmm, glittering. Oh, no, 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 no. Glittery. Yes. I'm so excited. A custom-designed, one-of-a-kind, raspberry original dress for my own poetry night. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have all of your <gasps> merry measurements. Ooh. Now I know what size to make your dress so you can relax. <sighs> Uh, would you like to see my preliminary, you know, my first sketches? And you can make any changes you want. Surprise me. I just love surprises. Well, okay then. I guess so. Then I'll just, uh, you know, go with what I had, I mean, have in mind. If that's what you have in mind. Sounds terrific. Well, I've got to get back to the cafe. Thanks. I'll have it ready for you by story time. Falling star from outer space, huh? how doth I wish to see your face? Oh, falling star up in the sky, I see you twinkle with my eye. Don't fly away, you'll make me cry. <gasps> oh, oh <clears throat> ah, Miss Shortcake, would you know a word that rhymes with cry? Why? Why? Of course, perfect. I mean, why change so much of my poem? Didn't you like it? Oh, oh no, my dear. I simply adored it. I merely made a few changes to give it more of that sense of, well, being there. The actual moment when you saw the star. Well, to tell the truth, I haven't ever seen a shooting star. I was more imagining. Oh, my. But to be a true poet, you must write about what you know. To write what it feels like to wish upon a falling star, you must experience it for yourself. Hmm. Hi, guys. Hi, Plum Pudding. Where are you off to, Strawberry? On a camp out. I'm trying to write a poem about wishing on a shooting star, and Mr. Longface says to write about something, you should experience it. Ah, uh, yes. Just like when I dance, one has to feel it from within. Uh, yeah. Think it might be a little cold tonight for a camp out? Well, if this will make me a better writer, it's worth it. Oh, wait! I have some Glowberry Sunflower Energy Bars. They're just the thing for a camp out. Thanks, Plum. Looks like Raspberry's working late. 
Maybe she could use some munchies. Oh, do me a favor, will you? Make sure she's not working too hard on that dress she's making for me. Sure thing. I'm changing my mind back and forth, but now I'm thinking I really like what I started with best, but now I'm worried I won't finish it in time. Oh, you poor thing. Can I help? I can cut stuff, or you could show me what to do. Oh, that's so sweet of you, but it's really important to me that I do this by myself. Know what I mean? I guess. Are you sure? I'm sure. I just hope I can. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness! <laughs> what are you saying? That I'm no fashion expert? <laughs> always in style, always in fashion, and it only took me a couple of minutes. What's that? Not strawberry style? No problem. I'll just pull another model out of my sleeve. Fair. Hiya, hiya. I'm a strawberry snow dress. How do you like me? <laughs> oh, dear. Did I cheer you up? <laughs> oh, yeah. But now I really have to get back to work. Oh, I like this so much. I just want, I just hope, I just... Wish I can make it in time. You'll do it. You just need a good night's sleep, a fresh start in the morning, and I know you'll make your wish come true. I'll close up your shop. Really? Okay. Good night, Plum. <sighs> hmm. Thanks again. What are friends for? Blueberry? It's Plum. Mm -hmm. ah! Oh, I missed it. Okay, no more yawning. And so that's the deal. Aw, poor Raspberry. And you know how she wants everything she makes to be the very best it can be. That's why I say we've got to finish Strawberry's outfit ourselves. Tonight! What Plum's talking about us doing sounds like this story. The shoemaker and the elves. While the shoemaker is asleep, these elves sneak in and make the shoes to help him out. <gasps> we could be like the elves! Raspberry secret helpers! Deal? Deal! Deal. <laughs> What? What? <sighs> okay. No more sleeping. Okay. Shh. 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 Come from. 
Didn't you make it? Um, well, I don't remember making it. I don't think I could have. All night I dreamed about sewing, but I don't remember... I mean, uh, this really isn't my original design, so I... Uh, well, you see, we thought... Well, it was... It was the fashion elves! Fashion elves? Yeah! You know, like the story about the shoemaker's elves? Blueberry has a book about it. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Kind of like, um... The Berrykins, but with pointy shoes. They know when you're in need, and they come at night and help. Really? Can you see them? Well, um... You can! I mean, you can't. I mean, you can, but you shouldn't. Those are the rules. You spy on fashion elves, they run away and never come back. That's right. Elves, Pshh. what are you gonna do? It must have been because you were wishing so hard for your dress to be made. Your wish came true. It isn't that you couldn't have done it on your own. And it's still from your design. Well, not really. <laughs> this is a much more uh, complicated. But wow, if these fashion elves can make a design this complicated in one night, think what they could do with a little more uh, direction. Huh? huh? Now I can really go wild and design something for Strawberry that is extra, extra ordinary, out of this world. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, something like uh, like this. I'll leave a new design up for the fashion elves tonight and see how they do with it. Um, maybe they're uh, only one night elves. Uh, possibly, yes, but in case they are here to stay, I better get designing because Strawberry deserves the very best. <laughs> Keep your heels on the floor as long as possible. Don't you think we should tell her the truth? <sighs> How are we gonna stay up another whole night? I was going to until somebody said fashion elves. I'm sorry. <sighs> Releve and turn around. <sighs> Grand plie. Uh, first position. Huh? Yum! Elf snacks! We're gonna need the nutrition. This is a monster of a dress. We'll never finish it by morning. We've got to for Raspberry. Look, let's divide the design in four parts and each take a section. Good idea. See? Now if it drizzles, we won't get wet. We'll just climb into the tent. Oh, muffin crumbs. It's stuck. Don't tell me. <gasps> oh. Oh. <sighs> Morning, Raspberry. We came to see the elves' latest and greatest. <gasps> this is exquisite! Especially this area. I really love this lace down here. Hmm. <laughs> but see, it only goes partway around the hem. <laughs> It seems like the elves have gotten off track. Off track? Well, I, I think this outfit is a smashing success. It's fabulous. Just look at the placement of these buttons. So, uh, pleasingly unexpected. But, but, but girls, this dress doesn't look anything like my design. Hmm. But I like this detail here. Oh, and this lace over here. And these buttons are quite <laughs> clever. But the whole thing seems like too many uh, different designs in one. I know. Huh? huh? What are you doing? You're not doing a new design, are you? Oh, no, no, no. I'm writing the elves a note. Well, you could just tell us and... <gasps> Dear elves, please concentrate on uh, one idea and go with it. <laughs> Gratefully yours, Raspberry Tort. Oh. 
So you see the problem? I really think the best solution is to go with my idea. But I don't know how to tell the girls in the nicest way, so I don't make them feel like I'm, you know, putting down their dress designs. And how many nights have you girls been fashion sprites? Elves. Sorry. I've lost count. Um, four? I, tell you what, I'm about to open the cafe, so why don't you come back at five today and we'll talk it over. I think I'll have an answer by then. Oh, that's great. Okay, thanks, Strawberry. So what do you think? How can I convince them to go with my idea and not hurt their feelings? Lemon, I'm having trouble hearing. Can you come by the cafe at, say, five o'clock? And I'm sure I'll have an answer for you. Five? Great, thanks, Strawberry. Oh, you've got to help me. My idea is just simplest, that's all, but I don't want to appear bossy, you know. I have to get back to the cafe, but come by at, say, five, and we'll talk it over. Strawberry, you said five o'clock, right? Oh, uh, hi, Blueberry. I'll be with you in just a second. <gasps> oh, 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 hey. Hi, Hi. Uh, hi. How are you? Hi, all. Tea? Muffins? I know. Smoothies! But I thought you said we'd be meeting in private. No, I didn't. I'm sorry, girls, but I just don't feel comfortable taking secret meetings. I have a feeling this is something that we need to get out in the open. I mean, none of you would like the idea of something being done behind your back, would you? But it was only... We didn't mean to, Strawberry! <laughs> we were not just trying to... It's okay. It's okay. I know you wanted to help Raspberry, which is very sweet. I just think being secret fashion elves might not be the best way. But we had to. I offered to help her, but she wanted to do it all by herself. Helping is good, but... <sighs> Well... Pardon the interruption, but here are three of my latest versions of your poem for your review, Miss Shortcake. What were you saying, Strawberry? Oh, it's just... Sometimes you want to make something your own way. You know, it's nice to know you can do some things all on your own. All on your own. Yes. Hmm. Strawberry's right. We should tell her the truth. Oh, but how? She'll be so disappointed. I'd rather make ten more dresses than disappoint Raspberry. Maybe the trouble is that we weren't working together. Let's all agree on one design and start over. Morning's a-wasting. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I've gotten used to oversleeping now that all my work is being done for me. Wow. Oh, it's perfect. It's absolutely amazing. Then why do you look so sad? Hmm. Because I didn't make it. I really wanted to make something sweet for Strawberry that was all from me to her. My own design, all made by me. I can't take credit for this, though, even if it is really fabulously fantastic. Although the elves could surely use some practice with their cross-stitching. See, but I'm worried I'm going to hurt the elves' feelings. But I have one more day to make Strawberry's dress, and I'm going to ask them to let me do it all by myself. Listen, Raspberry, you don't need to write the note. There's, um, something we need to tell you. It's just that I really want to read everyone a poem of my own. Oh, of course. Uh, you're perfectly right, Miss Shortcake. I I'm afraid I got a bit carried away. I hope you know how much I always appreciate your help, Mr. Longface. As I appreciate yours, Miss Shortcake. Your poem reawakened my long-lost love of poetry. Oh. <laughs> Oh, girls, I know you were just trying to help. Well, if I fail, at least Strawberry could wear the dress you made. Well, I've got a lot of work to do. Maybe there's 
there's another way we can help you, Raspberry. Huh? If it's too simple, Strawberry, I have a backup dress that is... Oh, I'd know a raspberry design anywhere. It's beautiful. I've done a lot of things so far, but never wished on a falling star. I've heard they're sparkly, fast and white, with glittery tails that light the night. Maybe. They look kind of prickly or furry. Someday I'll know, but I'm in no hurry. Who knows where I'll see one or when? I guess I'll just save up my wishes till then. In the meantime, I'm just having fun. Imagining the time when I do see one. <laughs> Strawberry shortcake. What are you up to today? I'm creating ways to make flowers different sizes, both very big and very small. Even if you don't have a whole lot of room, you can still have plenty of flowers in bloom. <laughs> That's a very clever idea. Strawberry? It certainly is a fine morning to enjoy the flowers. Oh, well, I'm not just enjoying them. I'm going to make a new perfume with pieces of the petals. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. But it's going to be part of my new spring fashion line, my very best so I want it to be really super special. Well, with all these flowers to choose from, you should have something really special in no time. Goodbye! Of them, and I thought 
thought it would be easy because the Varigans are so small. But it turns out making something so small is actually so hard. You see, to make them watertight, they need little itty-bitty teensy-weensy stitches. Too tiny for my sewing machine. And they're so hard to see. Oh, dear. Oh, that's too bad. You are Raspberry. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, Raspberry. Oh. If only those bitty barricans were the same size as us, at least then I could see what I'm doing. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Only six dozen to go. Oh, no. I could make them in no time if they didn't have to be so... so... so little! Ah! Hey! You know, if the Berrykins were bigger, not only would this job be easier, but bigger Berrykins could stop that much more jam. What's up? Okay, okay, everybody. They're too big, but I have just a way to make them fit perfectly. Just hold still while I. Oh, nice. Uh, did I smell bad or something? Uh, no. Uh, patience. Ooh. Now try the waiters on. Ta-da! Hey, you try some of that? Oh boy! <laughs> well, sure. Here you go. Great! <laughs> <laughs> Somehow. So, 
That's what happened. I don't know why the perfume makes things grow. It just does. That doesn't make sense. Perfume doesn't make things grow. <gasps> Berry can bloom. What about him? He was working on a spray to make flowers bigger, right near where you were gathering petals for your perfume. And it was pretty windy. Strawberry! Strawberry! My special spray somehow got away. We think we figured out how. Somehow, your growth spray got into my perfume. And when I sprayed it on the berrykins... You sprayed it on the berrykins? Well, yes. I was having trouble making waders that were so small, so... But, Raspberry, did you think how you were going to make the berrykins small again? Well, I thought they might like being big. Uh... Hmm. Uh, Berry can bloom. You have another spray to make flowers smaller, right? I do, indeed. For whatever size you need. So maybe if Raspberry makes more perfume and you mix it in with the other spray... But why does he need to mix it with my perfume? My spray doesn't work that way. It takes more time. So something about the perfume must have caused the change when it was mixed with Berry Can Bloom spray. Then it's up to you two. We need you to mix some special perfume. <laughs> I'm just about done here, Berry Can Bloom. Let's go! you used this morning? No. That one is over... here. <gasps> oh, Mary can sparkles. Well, I don't see anything. Too small for you to see, but not for me. Oh. So it wasn't just your growth spray and my perfume, but the sparkles, too? <gasps> it's a good thing you're so small, or we'd never have figured that out. Sparkles I can make, but I don't know how many it will take. This time for sure. on a hat. But it might be best to try another test. Oh, we did it! We did it! Bacon Bloom and I found a way to shrink the bearkins back to normal! That's terrific! Great news! We knew you could do it! Way to go, Raspberry! Yay, Raspberry! We need lots of sparkles.
thought I'd be looking up at a very... Looking way up. How's it going, Raspberry? Well, we've been trying to make more. But Berry Can Bloom hasn't been able to match the right kinds of sparkles. Let's try again. This time, Blue goes first. Uh, you might want to sort of duck. Running. <gasps> if they can't run the berry works, then no one is making glimmer berry juice. What happens to Berry Bitty City when the juice runs out? Oh, this is absolutely awful. I thought making the berrykins bigger would be helpful. I didn't think I'd be affecting all of Berry Bitty City. Right now, we're the only ones small enough to run the berry works. You know, you're right. Just show me what to do. I helped cause this problem. Now I'm gonna help fix it. I'll help too. Me too. Me too. Let's go, girls. All right. Raspberry, we're going to need more of your perfume. Uh, but the princess needs me to help run the berry works. And besides, I'm much too small to reach any of the flowers. That's not so. Even though we're bitty, we can do big things! Especially if some of the berrykins reach the flowers for you. Oh, I just thought of something. While we're running the berry works, who's going to run our shops? Fruit salad! Coming up as soon as I figure out how to make it! Hmm. Uh. Where's my waffle? Here comes the tea on table five. Here's the waffle boards at table four. How do you make a waffle? Don't ask me. I've never cooked before. Neither have I. Not in place. Look at all of these. What do we do? Where are they supposed to go? I know. We'll sort them by color. He's right. Dips on green. What a great idea. So, what do we do? Whatever the Barricans used to do. Come on. Mm, that way. Do it the way the berry can do it. Uh, they make it look so easy, but it's not. change you just to make things easier for me. Oh, I ended up making things awful for all of Berry Bitty City. And now we'll mix another batch to change you and your friends back to normal. <laughs> the Barricans are back! They 
season of the year. Okay now, let's make this whole place sparkle. Like, oh, I, 
some sort of gold box. I wonder what's in this. <laughs> Sorry. There's a book in here. The one we used to read for First Frost. <laughs> yes, here it is. It tells all about the first winter in Berry Bitty City. I bet everybody would love to hear it again. I'll read it here in the cafe and invite everyone in Berry Bitty City. Come on, you two can help. It's very beautiful. So original. So one of a kind. Well, thanks. I've been putting my whole heart into this entire collection. <laughs> you outdo yourself every year, Raspberry. I just feel, what's the point of doing something unless it's the best? So, I'm not stopping till I get it totally, completely, absolutely right. Like you said, I really want to make something original, one of a kind, never been seen before. Well, come on, Custard and Pupcake. We better let Raspberry work. Oh, I'm having a reading tonight at the cafe. I'd really like it if you could come. Huh? Oh, oh yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. Pupcake. <laughs> Here they come! Hi, Strawberry! Hi, Strawberry! Glad you could make it. Oh, thanks for coming. Come on in. Take a seat anywhere you like. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this, Strawberry. In the old days, this was my favorite part of First Frost. This is a very fun time of year, with celebrations and the Glimmerberry Ball and Glimmerberry Gathering. But sometimes, maybe we forget how important it is. That's why we always used to read this book, The Great Glimmerberry Gathering. It tells the story of the very first First Frost. Long ago, when Berry Bitty City was a very bitty place, Everyone worked hard to help the new town grow. Together, they planted the seeds that would become the beautiful, bountiful berry grove. Oh. But the first winter of that first year was not easy. The weather turned quite cold. Some of the townsfolk were trapped in their houses by snowdrifts, and others had to dig them out. Some townsfolk ran low on food they stored for winters, and others shared what they had. As the days went by, it only grew colder and colder and colder still. It looked like the young berry plants might die. That's when the first glimmer berry was carved and made into a beautiful glowing lantern because it was important to... Wow! They've been carving glimmer berries that long? That's right, for many years. Wow. <laughs> I have no idea. And so today, when we take the carved berries to the I field, never knew there was a, a real reason for it. I thought we did it because it's fun. It is fun, but it's also important because... This year, I'm going to carve the most beautiful berry ever. Of course, we have to remember why we carve the berries. See, in the story, it says... Oh, oh. I'm going to start work on my daring design right now. Oh, me too, me too. But don't you want to hear the rest of it? Oh yeah, but I really want to get working on some designs. Why wait till the last minute? I am going to absolutely outdo myself this year. Great idea. Let's hurry. Time's wasted. Gotta get busy. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. But, um... Oh. I guess... They didn't think the story was so important. I'm sorry, Princess Berrykin. Maybe the time wasn't right. But someday, Strawberry, you'll help them see the real reason for the gathering. I know you will. <sighs> hmm. Good. But 
but not good enough. Not original, one of a kind, never been seen before enough. Hmm, I'm going to put my whole heart into this one. It's gotta be the greatest, most beautiful. Hmm, no, that's not it. Aha! Yes! Oh, yes! I think I'm on to something. A little bit more here, a little bit less there. That's it! I bet no one has ever seen a design like this before. <laughs> Glimmerberry design? No. I mean, maybe? I mean, I don't know. I mean, why? I was just asking. I didn't see it. Not even for half a second? Well, maybe half a half second, but that's not why I stopped by. <laughs> I just wanted to be a surprise. <laughs> I understand. I want my design to be a surprise, too. I just wanted to ask if I could borrow some drawing paper so I could make my Glimmerberry design. I have it in my head, but if I don't draw it soon, it might disappear. <laughs> of course. That's how my idea came to me. It just seemed to magically pop into my head. <laughs> Here you are. Ooh, this one seems pretty good. Nice shape, right size. I think I'll go for it. How about you, Strawberry? Any luck? I'm leaning toward this one. What do you think? It's a beauty, all right. Huh? Hey, Raspberry, have you picked a Glimmerberry to carve for the gathering? Oh, uh, yes, I have. And I better hurry home to carve it right now. <laughs> what was that all about? She wants her berry to be a big surprise. <laughs> Where's everybody going? Over to Strawberries. We're going to show each other our Glimmerberry designs. Are you coming, Raspberry? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm certainly sure not going to show anybody my design until my berry is carved. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I love oh, this! Oh, that's yeah. crazy! Oh, can I go first? Can I, please? Sure, Plum. Go ahead. It took a while to get it just the way I wanted it. But what do you think? <gasps> it's oh, almost exactly like mine. That's fantastic, Plum. Check this out. I did one sort of like it. Hey, I did too. What do you know? Me too. Wonder how that happened. It happened because Orange copied my drawing. But, but, Raspberry, I haven't even seen your drawing. Uh, well, of course not. Then how could she have copied it? Uh, well, she saw blueberries, and blueberries saw plums, and plums saw lemons, and lemon saw mine. You're just, uh, joking. Right, Raspberry? <laughs> I do not think this is a joke. Now, let's stay calm and figure this out. I worked very hard on that design. I wanted to make something special and totally original for the Glimmerberry Gathering. I put my whole heart into it. I'm sure there's a very simple explanation. Of course there is. Everybody copied me. You can count me out. I'm not going to carve a Glimmerberry this year. But, Raspberry, we need you. We can't have the Glimmerberry gathering unless everybody's there. You know, I don't like to say this, but maybe Raspberry's right. Maybe Orange did copy my sketch. I didn't want to say anything either, but I was thinking Lemon might have been copying too. I hate to even think it, but I have a feeling maybe Plum did copy my sketch. Uh, Strawberry? We have a little problem. I'm starting to think that there has been some copying going on. 
Oh, Plum, really? Blueberry was hanging around my place that day and... I heard that. Am I being accused of copying? Look, I'm just saying... But it was Orange who copied me. I didn't copy anybody. Are you sure it wasn't you who copied me? Now, come on, everybody. Let's not get carried away. Carried away with what? We're talking about copying. I said it didn't copy. Girls, who's copying? Girls, who are talking about copying? accuse the other, and on and on it went, and now... No one wants to carve berries. And without everyone cooperating together, well, the gathering just cannot be. Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to cancel the celebration. Thanks, Custard. Oh, Cupcake. I know you want to help, but there's nothing we can do. Won't be needing this anymore. Hey, hold on a minute. I know exactly what to do. <laughs> meeting! Meeting time! Meeting at the cafe! Blueberry, raspberry, orange, lemon, everybody! Come on over as soon as you can! Tell everybody! Anybody! Everybody! Important meeting right now! What's happened? What's this all about, Strawberry? Yeah, what's so important we had to run over here? I wanted you to hear the rest of the Glimmerberry gathering. We never got to finish. But why? There's not going to be a gathering this year. Please, everybody, just stay and listen. When I'm done, I think you'll understand. Custard, the lights. <laughs> When that coldest of cold winters hit Berry Bitty City, the whole community worked hard to save the newly planted grove. But the weather kept growing harsher, and they knew the young plants weren't going to make it. Then, the littlest berrykin had an idea. We can carve out the frozen berries we do have, he said. And we can put glow bugs in them. Why would we do that? the others asked. If we took them to the groves, he explained, they might keep the plants warm. At first, they only laughed at the little berrykin. But then, they understood. It was their only hope. If the plants didn't make it, they'd have no food to eat and no power to run the little city. So they worked together and took the glowing berries into the field. <laughs> and it worked! The plants were saved. But only because every single person in Berry Bitty City brought a lantern to help warm the berry plants. The people of Berry Bitty City saw that they had to depend upon each other, the way they depend on the glimmer berries. And so we celebrate the glimmer berry gathering every winter. Every person in Berry Bitty City carves a frozen <laughs> berry lantern. The whole town comes together and lights their lanterns in a circle. It is a promise everyone makes that the community will come together and help each other in the hard winter days to come. Friends helping friends. And that is what the gathering is really all about. Oh, oh my. I've really been acting so very silly. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Do you see this? Here. Wait! That's... that's... that's my design! That's right. And I drew one just like it. Hey, me too! So did I! We all did. I think you all saw it when I opened the box, but you didn't realize you'd seen it. That's how you came up with the same design. We all did. Oh, then... then... I accused you all of copying me when you didn't. Oh, I am so sorry. I hope you can kinda, sorta, oh, forgive me. 
Well, sure, Raspberry. If you can forgive me. And me. Me too. I think we all overreacted. Oh, look, everybody. It's getting really frosty outside. I bet the berries are very frozen and perfect for carving. You had better hurry if you're going to get the glimmer berries carved in time. <laughs> Let's, Let's do it! Do it. Come, Let's on. Do it. Come, Come on! Come on, everybody! How's this looking? Awesome! How about this one? Looking good, Orange. Uh, you missed a little spot there. Is everybody just about done? Yeah! Oh, give yeah, me another I'll second! Give me, give me another second! I'll let him know it's time. Could you please tell the glow bugs we're ready? Thank you! Show video take number... What is it now? 23! Take 23. Hi, everyone. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Tonight, I'm making Myrtle Berry Meringue. It's a great favorite here at Strawberry's Cafe in Berry Bitty City, and it's such a fun recipe. Of course, the most important ingredient is... a big bowl of merry, mirthful, mirthful berries. I mean, Myrtle. Myrtle berries. Oh. Sorry. Cut! That's a mirthful mouthful. Take 24. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful myrtle berries. Uh, oh, no! Oh. oh! Cut! I'll tell you one thing, Strawberry. Don't quit your day job. Sour? What? Quiet on the set, please. Oh, sorry. Was I holding you up? Like it makes a difference. They say they're going to play this video on a skirt they're inventing. That's also a video screen. I mean, seriously? <laughs> Sour. Please. Take 25. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful oh, myrtle berries. Hot! What? <gasps> One more time. Quiet on the set. Take 26. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful myrtle bow. <sighs> oh, not again. Oh, power's been going off all day. We'll never get our video done. What are they doing down at the Berry Works power station? Finally, take 27. Ugh! 
How are you whiz kids going to enter a technology in fashion contest with no technology? We'll have to continue later, whiz kids. It's getting dark, and I need to take care of deliveries at the marketplace. But first, I'm going to find out what's going on at the Berry Works. Gary! Ah! Oh. Somebody cap that cracked crinolator! Bouncing bitter berries! What happened, Barrack and Bruce? Uh, Sparkleberry strainer popped a grommet. Oh, looks bad. Uh, not as bad as when the peach pit pulverizer exploded. We were up to our pips and pulp for a week. Hey! Move that mango masher! No, not that one! The other one! Well, don't worry. Barricans are on the job. The power will be up and down tonight, but we'll have it fixed by first thing in the morning. I hope. Come on, Barricans! This whole place looks like it's too very short of a fruit salad! I'd better tell the girls it's a wrap till tomorrow. Oh, uh, Strawberry Shortcake speaking. Hi, Cousin Strawberry. Apple Dumpling? <laughs> I haven't talked to you in forever. How are you? I'm great! Always on the move, you know. Gotta see what's over that next hill, as we real travelers say. Thought I'd call and let you know I was thinking of stopping by for a quick visit. Oh, I'd love to see you. Things are just a little... crazy right now. When were you thinking of arriving? I'm guessing in about five, four, three, two, one! Are you all right? Sure. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, this was nothing. Did I tell you about the time I climbed Mount Macadamia and discovered it's a volcano? That's right. I saw your post on your Very Best Bits page, but sure you're all right? Well, I had to dodge some lava chunks the size of a house when it erupted, but other than that... Uh, no, I mean the crash. This? Ah, oh, this was no crash. The time I went over Crabapple Falls in a kayak, that was a crash. There I was, down the creek without a paddle, when all of a sudden... Oh, I almost forgot. Tea time. Oh, okay, I'll make us both a cup as soon as we get to town. No, tea time turtle. There he is. He goes everywhere with me. I'm so glad you came to visit. I save every postcard you send me. Everyone's gonna be so excited to meet you. We all follow you on Very Best Bits and love all your pics and posts. Now, I don't want to cause anybody any bother. I just dropped by for a quick visit. I'll be gone before you can say, planes, trains, and airplanes. But you just got here. Oh, well, you know how it is when you're a world traveling adventurer. You have so many pen pals to visit, you can't stay in one place for long. Can you stay just a little while? The Barricans will have to fix the bus, and they're all busy now. <gasps> you can stay overnight with me! Well, I guess I could stay just one day. A real bedroom would be nice. I I'm used to sleeping in my tent or the cabin on my little one-girl sailboat. I mean, one-girl and turtle sailboat. Right, tea time? Tea time? <laughs> oh, there you are. Sorry I can't be a better host, but I have to get all that stuff ready for tomorrow's customers. Oh, let me help. I can turn any boring chore into an adventure. Did I tell you about the time I hitched a ride on a cargo ship and helped the crew swab the deck by getting a whale to splash it clean? Oh, yeah. I read about that on your Very Best Bits feed. Didn't the ship kind of get, um, full of water? <laughs> yep. I turned it into the biggest swimming pool ever. Hmm. I, uh, see what you mean. And how did the captain feel about that? You should have seen his face. It was so sweet. I guess nobody had ever done something like that for him. He just sat there and cried. I can imagine. Leave it to me. I've got all kinds of ideas how to get this organized. No, 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 that's okay. I mean, you're my guest. 
You just get settled upstairs, and I'll see you after I'm done working. Well, okay. You sure? <laughs> Very sure. Well, Barrack and Bruce said they'd get it fixed. So I'll be at the cafe first thing in the morning. Thank you, Strawberry. Okay, Lemon. You have a good night, too. <sighs> Apple, it's me. Thought you might want to see my collection of your postcards. Apple? Surprise! <laughs> well, are you ready? <laughs> For what? This. inside the Crystal Crater Caverns that I explored. Isn't it just amazing? Yes, it's amazing that you could do something like this, but do you think we could turn it off so we could get some sleep? Oh, oh sure, no problem. Oops. <laughs> I got so excited I forgot to add an off button. But don't worry, the lights will run out of juice on their own. Uh, when will that be? About sunrise? My very best bits followers of Apple's amazing adventures, I begin the story. Oh, thanks, Tea Time. I begin the story of my latest adventure, Avalanche Surfing, How I Rode the Wild Snow. <laughs> oh, hi there. Do you like my adventure story? Well, would you like to hear more? Yeah! 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 Well, there I was. Ooh. High up in the Apricot Alps. Ooh. Snowboarding an avalanche. Ooh. Faster and faster, I raced down the slope. The avalanche was hot on my heels. And then, all of a sudden... Ooh. Wait a minute. Why tell you about it when I can show you? Come on! Yeah! <laughs> okay, once we install this valve, we're back in business. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> Yeah. Whew. Now let's see if it works. And hop. <laughs> well, juice me 
and call me a smoothie. It works! Widget to ratchet into the berry juice system, and you have a snow making machine. <laughs> oh no! Come on, everybody! Cooking video, take what is it now? 153. Take 153. Now remember, once we've mashed our myrtle berries, we need to blend them for only one minute. If you blend too long, it will foam up and get all over. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't get much sleep last night. Hot! Take 154. Strawberry. Uh, Cat! 155. Remember, we need to blend our Myrtleberry meringue only for a minute. If we blend too long, it'll foam up and get all over everything. I think she's got it. I think this cake is going to be the one. Oh. Again. <sighs> That's just wonderful. Great. What else is going to go wrong? Quick, shut it down. Shut it down. Another popped grommet? No, this is worse. A blowout in the juice cooler. What could have made that happen? Not what? Who? <gasps> Strawberry. Apple, can we talk? I've thought about it, and I think it's best if I just leave. <laughs> Come on, Apple, don't go. Everybody feels bad about what happened, but we can work it out. We're family here. I don't want to leave, but I have places to go, people to see. Gotta find the next big adventure for my very best bits feed. Being a famous traveler is what I do. It's why people like me. Is that why you don't stay with anyone for very long? Hot strawberry. I'm not like you and everybody else here. Having something you do that people need. At least stay until the barricans can fix the bus. Oh, I can fix the bus. Faster than you can say batten down the hatches. It's my fault it crashed in the first place. I got curious how the booster worked and I, uh, tried to improve it. <laughs> I guess I improved it too much. Fixed? How'd you do that? I don't know. I just kind of look at stuff and 
I see how it works. See you, Strawberry. Well, but... Call, okay? Send me a postcard. I will. Strawberry! <gasps> All right, where is she? That cousin of yours, where'd she go? Oh, what'd she do this time? Do? You're not gonna believe it. I don't know how she could have done such a thing. Ooh, that bad, huh? Bad? No! It's good! It's great! It's brilliant! She fixed the power system! Better than new! She's a genius! Best Sparkleberry Techie in the very bitty world! Where is she? I gotta hire her! This town needs her! Strawberry isn't answering. It keeps saying she's out of range. What'd she do? Leave town? Apple! 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 Oh, I think we're lost. Huh? Whoa! you to give me and my crew a crash course in fixing stuff. Apple, I want you to tell the kids your adventure stories at story time. We all want you to stay. There's no one aboard? How to do that? Automatic return. A little feature I added tells the butterflies when you don't need the bus anymore. Because you know you're not gonna leave. When you know you found the people you wanna stay with and the place you wanna stay. Welcome home.
still lots of time before the cafe opens. Hmm, guess it's a good morning to clean out the fridge. Oh, that's right. I cleaned it yesterday. <laughs> hmm, clean the oven. Oh, forgot. <laughs> cleaned it the day before. Looks like I'm all out of things to do. Hey, Pupcake. Think we should go strawberry shopping? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Pupcake! <laughs> hey, come back! Pupcake, come back here! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Plum! Strawberry. Morning, Blueberry. Good morning, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Hi, Strawberry. Morning, Lemon. Mmm, what's that fragrance? Mm, my new lemon hair scent. Like it? Oh, delicious. Great! I have a new strawberry scented shampoo that'd be perfect for you. Stop by later, I'll give you some. Where are you off to? Soon as I can catch Pupcake to Berry Glen for some strawberries. Need anything while I'm there? Oh, uh, yes. Pick me a few sunflower seeds. You got it. Pupcake! <laughs> there you are. Now please don't budge. I gotta get some sunflower seeds for orange. Bye, Strawberry Shortcake. You are out early today. What is all this? My latest, greatest invention. A plant food that grows berry bitty fruits and vegetables. No more rolling apples all the way into town. Now they're just the right size for us. Mmm, very delicious, too. <laughs> Thank you. But there's only one problem. <sighs> My berry bitty harvest is uh, a bit more bountiful than I expected. Uh, whew, thank you. We've got to get these to Orange's general store before they spoil. Wait till she sees these. She'll be so excited. 
I'll help you, Barricade Bloom. Thimbles, check. Thread, check. Berries and bobbins, buttons and bows. Check and check, check and check. Can I get you anything else? No, thank you, Orange. This is all I need. Alrighty then. And thank you for shopping at Orange's General Store. Where there's a place for everything and a thing for every place. Morning, Orange. Good morning, Barry Kinville. And what can I get for you today? I'll need three bolts, six nails, 12 pails, a bag of rags, a box of socks, and half a dozen wooden blocks. Got it. Oh, what kind of wood? Well, I hadn't really thought much about... I have pine, cherry, oak, mahogany, peach, apple, elm, ash, beech, hickory, ebony, cedar, poplar, maple, spruce, sycamore, teak, rosewood, rubberwood, cottonwood, walnut, and willow. Um... I'm having a special this week on willow. I'll take willow. Good choice. And will there be anything else? Got any sunflower seeds? Ooh, all out. But a fresh shipment is coming in today. Oh, Orange, I got your sunflower seeds. See? If we don't have it, we'll get it at Orange's General Store. The place where there's a place for everything and a thing for, um, every some place? <laughs> Good morning, Orange. Might you have room in your store for some delicious, nutritious, berry bitty fruits and vegetables fresh from my berry own bitty garden? Wow. Um, yeah, uh, sure. Of course. Bring it on. You know, this is a lot of stuff. Can I give you some help making room for it? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. I can make room on my own. Well, okay, but if you need any help rearranging... Don't be silly, Strawberry. Organization is my specialty. Okay, bring it in! <laughs> now, Custard! <laughs> This is not a toy. <laughs> wow! Do you think the store with a thing for every place has too many things and not enough places? Looks like Orange could use our help. Every time I ask, she says she's got it under control. Psst! Do you want to see what under control looks like? Okay? Well, sure. 
sun salt. Orange, are you sure there isn't anything we can do to help you? Thanks, Strawberry. But I've got the whole thing under control. Whoa! Uh, so <laughs> refreshing. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to the cafe for breakfast. <laughs> Gotta run! I'll keep some waffles warm for you in case you get a break. Okay, who's next? Nope, he's been quiet here too. Not a customer all day. How about you? Nobody since you guys were here. The whole town's at Orange's store. I've had so much spare time, I reorganized all my potholders, alphabetized my spices, and now I'm sketching some designs for a bedroom makeover. Orange has got to be swamped. Too bad she won't let us help her. I know. I think she's sensitive about accepting help. She feels it's like admitting she failed. Did she ever come by for breakfast? Nope. I finally had to give away the stack of waffles I'd saved for her. <laughs> At least they didn't go to waste. <laughs> Poor Orange, she's got to be hungry. It's almost lunchtime. I'm bringing her a sandwich. Least I can do. See you, Lemon. Okay, later. Galloping gooseberries. Radishes and rutabagas. Who wanted the radishes and rutabagas? You know what? Tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas. Who asked for tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas? Excuse me. Um, pardon me. I beg your pardon. Oh, excuse me. Wow, is business ever booming? I brought you a sandwich. Thanks, but I can't take a lunch break just now. Papayas and peaches! Who ordered the papayas and... Right here, right here, right here! Just a bit busy. Wow, you really worked out a great system here. <laughs> Hi! Those are for produce only. Nothing beats painting in a watercoloring book. <laughs> Extraordinary talent! You may want to enroll him in an advanced painting class. Would you like? 
like me to... Oh, no, no problem. I, I can handle it. Quick, wrangle those radishes. Catch, Blueberry. Thanks. Great, more crates. Why are we whispering? Because if Orange finds out we're helping, she'll get upset. Oh, that's just silly. Helping each other is what friends are for. And I have plenty of spare time today. Look how pretty all the vegetables look in these crates. Well, she's got it into her head that the mess came from her store. And if she doesn't clean it herself, we'll think she isn't good at running her store. It's not her fault. There isn't enough room for all this stuff in her store. Yeah, what you'd need is a whole other store. Hmm. I smell something. Uh, mangoes? No, an idea. Huh. Hi, Orange. Be right with you. Almost done here. Everything under control. Good, because I desperately need your help with something. What is it, Strawberry? What do you need? Um, it's kind of personal. Do you have five minutes for a cup of tea at the cafe? Um, well, sure, I guess. Um, I'll just close up for a few minutes. Great. Don't worry, I'll have you back in a flash. There. Back in a flash. So, I was saying, I need to ask you a favor. Anything? Well, I have this dream of... Custard? No! <laughs> I said, that's not a toy! This... this dream of opening a side business. Yeah? Oh, how fun! Well, what kind of business? Well, that's the trouble. I have nothing to sell. Hmm. So that's where you come in. I was hoping you wouldn't mind if I sold Berrykin Bloom's next Berry Bitty Harvest in a... sort of a... Um, produce marketplace. But only if you'd be willing to part with it. A marketplace? What a great idea! <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you doing this for me? Well, I'm, I'm doing it mostly because it would be fun for me. And fun for me, too! Not to have to run my store and sell all those fruits and veggies. I don't know why I didn't let you help me before. I'm so wiped out. Do you think the girls would mind helping me get my store cleaned up? Done! Oh, you are all so sweet! Thank you. You always help us, Orange. Why wouldn't we help you? Well, we all need to help Strawberry, because she's opening up a new marketplace! We're on it! Great, everyone. I think that's enough for one day. I can take it from here. Thank you so much for helping me get started. You're welcome. Sure, no problem. Anytime. Strawberry. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, Strawberry. Emergency! What is it, Berrykin Bloom? It's my new plant food that shrinks the fruits and veggies to our size. It also shrinks the time from seed to harvest. I've got a new crop coming in only two weeks. Oh, no! This marketplace has to be built in half the time! 